As a music lover with an iPad, a MacBook and an iPhone, I've always having this trouble to migrate some of my best songs, you know, from one of the device to another. And since I've got my iPhone a few years back, as you can tell, it's an iPhone XS and the music library is totally different from the MacBook and the iPad and some of the songs and albums, I've already lost them. So there's no way for me to sync music from my MacBook onto my iPhone. As you know, it just erase everything. Luckily, I can still sync music onto my iPad Pro, but there's also a problem as some of the albums and CDs are already lost or are overseas and I have no way to retrieve them. So yeah, I just need to copy the songs from my iPhone to my iPad Pro. So I found this amazing app called iMazing. And yep, you can tell there's a lot of features and I have no idea how to utilize most of them. However, I'm just gonna tell you guys the simplest and the most useful one, which is to migrate songs from one of the devices to another. If you're familiar with Chinese songs, you can tell that these are two classic songs and I've already imported them from my dad CD. So using Amazing, it's possible for me to just export selected music tracks or entire library if I wanted to and export them to either folders or export to music. Since it's just to migrate, I'm just gonna put it into one of the folders for an easier migration and also for, you know, just to archive them for the future, you know, new devices, it might be easier to use them and yeah. I'm just gonna put them into folder and you can always hit this button and look for the folder itself. And moving on, let's import these music tracks to my iPad Pro. So let's locate the music icon under my iPad Pro selection and you can see that there's totally nothing because iMazing technically didn't show all the iTunes purchased music tracks from my iPad, I have no idea why, but I'm just gonna import like this and yep, for a successful import, you have to link your devices and it will use up one of your license of your devices, of course. However, since the developers are non-Chinese, I think there might be some problems with, you know, Chinese characters from showing with the actual forms. But the tracks are, you know, successfully imported. And on the other hand, let's move back to exporting. You can also export you know, iTunes soundtracks and since it's an English music track, it's not going to have any problems. So I'm just gonna export like just now and import and drag the folder to the media pool. And since I've already purchased the music, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna hit the keep both button. Yep, so it creates a duplicate and that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. So I will be giving away one license. You can use them on three Apple mobile devices. So how can you win this giveaway? Just subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment with anything you want. And in a week's time, I will randomly select one of you to be the winner and I will post another video to announce who the winner would be. Thank you very much and bye bye.